duniani kote wanapajua kama ngorongoro kreta lakini hasa kitaalam panajulikana kama ngorongoro caldera sababu ni kwamba enzi hizo tunaambiwa kwamba kulikuwa na mlima ambao unaitwa mlima ngorongoro kulitokea volkano halafu ukadidimia ulipodidimia ndio tukapata hii ambayo unaiona ngorongoro caldera kwa nini kuna caldera chungu nzima duniani lakini hii inajulikana zaidi ni kwa sababu ya namna ambavyo inatoa burudani burudani yenyewe ni kwamba kuna uoto wa asili kuna mchanganyiko wa mambo chungu nzima kuna chemchem kuna ziwa magadi na vile vile kuna wanyama mbalimbali mbali. kama unavyoona nyuma yangu unaona kuna nyumbu kuna punda Lia. Thank you. 
conservation area is located in Africa, in the northern part of Tanzania. It is a unique protected area in the whole of Africa, covering about 8,292 square kilometers, where conservation of natural resources is integrated with human development as a multiple land use area. Rongoro is a, it's a World Heritage Site. Uh, it's also a man in Biosphere Reserve, recognized by UNESCO. But also Ngorongoro is an aspiring geopark. It is a must-see travel destination because within, one will find the famous Gorongoro Crater as one of the world's largest intact volcanic caldera. It is a large, unbroken, unflooded caldera formed when a giant volcano exploded and collapsed some three million years ago. Gorongoro Crater sinks to a depth of 610 meters with a base area covering 260 square kilometers. Apart from the main caldera, Gorongoro also has two other volcanic craters, Olmoti and Empakai. Gorongoro Crater is a sanctuary for thousands of wildlife species found within the area. The crater offers a haven for animal enthusiasts. Approximately 25,000 large animals, mostly angulates, live in the crater. It is the best place in Tanzania to see the Big Five. Well, this morning we um, left our little hotel at about six o'clock and so we were driving down the road and it was dark and all of a sudden we looked to the side and our guide was like, look, there's a lion! And right there on the road, not two feet away from us, was this huge lion just, just there, just lying there, just very calm and oh my gosh, it was incredible. A healthy population of black rhino and some of the largest Tusker elephants left in Africa today are the prize spots. But the crater is home to strong populations of lions, leopards and hyenas, along with good herds of wildebeest, buffaloes and zebras. Gorongoro Conservation Area is popular for large annual animal migration. The legendary annual wildebeest and zebra migration also passes through Gorongoro. During the large group migration, the beautiful, unforgettable scenarios occur. The mixture of forests, canyons, grassland plains, lakes and marshes, provide habitats for a wide range of bird life. Over 500 species of birds have been recorded within Gorongoro Conservation Area. Within Gorongoro, you will meet with happy, strong and cultural people, the Maasai. Gorongoro Conservation Area is the only site in the world with a high concentration of wildlife living with human communities. About 200 years ago, the Maasai arrived and have since colonized the area in substantial numbers. Their traditional way of life allowing them to live in harmony with the wildlife and the environment. The Maasai culture is worth a look. They are friendly and open, they are very nice and they are fun to watch. The crater is just one part of a much larger area of interrelated ecosystems. Miracle Shifting Sand and Olkarian Gorge are very beautiful features found in Gorongoro Conservation Area. 
This remarkable black dew, composed of volcanic ash from Odonio Lengai, is being blown slowly westwards across the plains at a rate of about 17 meters per year, some 9 meters high and 100 meters long in its curve. And Olkarian Gorge is ecologically important because it is a vital nesting site of the Rupel's Griffin Vulture. Olduvai Gorge is a world-famous archaeological location in Tanzania, East Africa, and it is widely regarded as the cradle of mankind. It is one of the most important prehistoric sites in the world. Olduvai Gorge carries some of the oldest evidence of the remains of the earliest humans. It is here where Mary and Louis Leakey unearthed the first well-dated artifacts and fossils of the earliest humans, including Zinjanthropus skull, early stone tools, Homo erectus, and the larger-brained hominin that preceded the earliest modern humans. Recently, Gorongoro, in partnership with the European Union, constructed one of the largest on-site museums in Africa. The museum showcases some of the site's rarest prehistoric pieces, making it easier for tourists and researchers visiting the site to see. The museum was purposely designed to resemble the Maasai cultural bombers and uphold the traditional Maasai architectural style found in many communities resided in by the Maasai people. So big and green and breathtaking. So many animals. I can't get over how green and big it is and beautiful. The lights on the, on the mountains, on the hills, on the crater, surrounded in the middle of the crater. It's so beautiful. You will never forget it. It has been the best experience in my life. Gorongoro has truly unique sights.
Watu wengi au duniani kote wanapajua kama Ngorongoro Crater lakini hasa kitaalamu panajulikana kama Ngorongoro Caldera. Sababu ni kwamba enzi hizo tunaambiwa kwamba kulikuwa na mlima ambao unaitwa mlima Ngorongoro kulitokea volkano halafu ukadidimia. Ulipodidimia ndio tukapata hii ambayo unaiona Ngorongoro Caldera. Kwa nini kuna caldera chungu nzima duniani lakini hii inajulikana zaidi? Ni kwa sababu ya namna ambavyo inatoa burudani. Burudani yenyewe ni kwamba kuna uoto wa asili, kuna mchanganyiko wa mambo chungu nzima, kuna chemchem, kuna ziwa magadi na vile vile kuna wanyama mbalimbali. Mbali. Kama unavyoona nyuma yangu unaona kuna nyumbu, kuna pundo wa milia, kuna swala, wote unawapata hapa. Lakini vile vile kuna jambo muhimu ambalo unakuta wanyama kama watano wanaitwa uh, big five wanapatikana eneo hili hili na si wanyama wa mchezo mchezo. Kuna simba, kuna chui, kuna tembo, kuna faru na kuna nyati. Wote wanapatikana hapa. <tos> Conservation Area is located in Africa, in the northern part of Tanzania. It is a unique protected area in the whole of Africa, covering about 8,292 square kilometers, where conservation of natural resources is integrated with human development as a multiple land use area. Ngorongoro is a, it's a World Heritage Site. Uh, it's also a man in Biosphere Reserve, recognized by UNESCO. But also Ngorongoro is an aspiring geopark. It is a must-see travel destination because within, one will find the famous Ngorongoro Crater as one of the world's largest intact volcanic caldera. It is a large, unbroken, unflooded caldera formed when a giant volcano exploded and collapsed some three million years ago. Gorongoro Crater sinks to a depth of 610 meters with a base area covering 260 square kilometers. Apart from the main caldera, Gorongoro also has two other volcanic craters, Olmoti and Empakai. Gorongoro Crater is a sanctuary for thousands of wildlife species found within the area. The crater offers a haven for animal enthusiasts. Approximately 25,000 large animals, mostly angulates, live in the crater. It is the best place in Tanzania to see the big five. Well, this morning we um, left our little hotel at about six o'clock and so we were driving down the road and it was dark and all of a sudden we looked to the side and our guide was like, look, there's a lion! And right there on the road, not two feet away from us, was this huge lion just, just there, just lying there, just very calm and Oh my gosh, it was incredible. A healthy population of black rhino and some of the largest Tusker elephants left in Africa today are the prize spots. But the crater is home to strong populations of lions, leopards and hyenas, along with good herds of wildebeest, buffaloes and zebras. 
Ngorongoro Conservation Area is popular for large annual animal migration. The legendary annual wildebeest and zebra migration also passes through Ngorongoro. During the large group migration, the beautiful, unforgettable scenarios occur. The mixture of forests, canyons, grassland plains, lakes and marshes provide habitats for a wide range of bird life. Over 500 species of birds have been recorded within Gorongoro Conservation Area. Within Gorongoro, you will meet with happy, strong, and cultural people, the Maasai. Gorongoro Conservation Area is the only site in the world with a high concentration of wildlife living with human communities. About 200 years ago, the Maasai arrived and have since colonized the area in substantial numbers. Their traditional way of life allowing them to live in harmony with the wildlife and the environment. The Maasai culture is worth a look. They are friendly and open, they are very nice and they are fun to watch. The crater is just one part of a much larger area of interrelated ecosystems. Miracle Shifting Sand and Olkarian Gorge are very beautiful features found in Gorongoro Conservation Area. This remarkable black dune composed of volcanic ash from Odonyo Lengai is being blown slowly westwards across the plains at a rate of about 17 meters per year, some 9 meters high and 100 meters long in its curve. And Olkarian Gorge is ecologically important because it is a vital nesting site of the Rupel's Griffin Vulture. Olduvai Gorge is a world-famous archaeological location in Tanzania, East Africa, and it is widely regarded as the cradle of mankind. It is one of the most important prehistoric sites in the world. Olduvai Gorge carries some of the oldest evidence of the remains of the earliest humans. It is here where Mary and Louis Leakey unearthed the first well-dated artifacts and fossils of the earliest humans, including Zinjanthropus skull, early stone tools, Homo erectus, and the larger-brained hominin that preceded the earliest modern humans. Recently, Gorongoro, in partnership with the European Union, constructed one of the largest on-site museums in Africa. The museum showcases some of the site's rarest prehistoric pieces, making it easier for tourists and researchers visiting the site to see. The museum was purposely designed to resemble the Maasai cultural bombers and uphold the traditional Maasai architectural style found in many communities resided in by the Maasai people. So big and green and breathtaking, so many animals. I can't get over how green and big it is and beautiful. The lights on the, on the mountains, on the hills, on the crater, surrounded in the middle of the crater, it's so beautiful, you will never forget it. It has been the best experience in my life. Gorongoro has truly unique sights, an opportunity
watu wengi au duniani kote wanapajua kama ngorongoro crater lakini hasa kitaalam panajulikana kama ngorongoro caldera sababu ni kwamba enzi hizo tunaambiwa kwamba kulikuwa na mlima ambao unaitwa mlima ngorongoro kulitokea volkano halafu ukadidimia ulipodidimia ndio tukapata hii ambayo unaiona ngorongoro caldera kwa nini kuna caldera chungu nzima duniani lakini hii inajulikana zaidi ni kwa sababu ya namna ambavyo inatoa burudani burudani yenyewe ni kwamba kuna uoto wa asili kuna mchanganyiko wa mambo chungu nzima kuna chemchem kuna ziwa magadi na vile vile kuna wanyama mbalimbali mbali. kama unavyoona nyuma yangu unaona kuna nyumbu kuna pundo milia kuna swala wote unawapata hapa lakini vile vile kuna jambo muhimu ambalo unakuta wanyama kama watano wanaitwa uh, big five wanapatikana eneo hili hili na si wanyama wa mchezo mchezo kuna simba kuna chui kuna tembo kuna faru na kuna nyati wote wanapatikana hapa <tos>
wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba hivi kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatically tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kumi ah uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi na pia ameshawahi kuishi kuleta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru anaona lakini anaona hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao kwa ikawa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka lakini hawa wa nyuma walikuwa wamesha tu wamesha tutambua kwa sababu upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwao kwa kwa wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari kwa katika wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa mbali sana na sisi kwa kilichofanyika ni kwamba alichaji alipandisha hasira akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango ya kutisha ile. Kwa hiyo wataalamu wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha, kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia anaana anakuacha. Kwa hiyo tulivyokuwa tumetulia, dereva akasema tulie, tulie, tulie. Sasa kuna mwenzangu Sele <laughs> yeye alikuwa ana, anarekebisha dish. By the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la Farus 7 anarekebisha dish kuja kupata signal za internet. Akashuka tarati. Akaingia ndani ya gari. Kwa ni ni kitu ambacho siwezi siwezi kusahau katika hizi kazi zetu. Japo kuna vingine vingi vipo lakini hiki cho cha faru kilini kilinitisha sana. Ghafla kuna faru wengine kama tatu kwa wametokea msituni. Wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba hivi kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatically tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kumi. Ah uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi. Na pia ameshawahi kuishi kuleta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru. Anaona lakini anaona hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali. Lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao kwa ikawa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka lakini hawa wa nyuma walikuwa wamesha tu wamesha tutambua kwa sababu upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwao kwa kwa wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari kwa katika wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa mbali sana na sisi kwa kilichofanyika ni kwamba alichaji alipandisha hasira akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango ya kutisha ile. Kwa hiyo wataalamu wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha, kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia ana anakuacha. Kwa hiyo tulivyokuwa tumetulia, dereva akasema tulie, tulie, tulie. Sasa kuna mwenzangu Sele <laughs> yeye alikuwa ana, anarekebisha dish. By the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la Farus 7 anarekebisha dish kuja kupata signal za internet. Akashuka tarati. Akaingia ndani ya gari. Kwa ni ni kitu ambacho siwezi siwezi kusahau katika hizi kazi zetu. Japo kuna vingine vingi vipo lakini hiki cho cha faru kilini kilinitisha sana. Ghafla kuna faru wengine kama tatu kwa wametokea msituni. Wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba hivi kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatically tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kumi. Ah uh, uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi. 
na pia ameshawahi kuishi Kreta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru. Anaona lakini ana uono hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali. Lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao. Kwa kwa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka. Lakini hawa wanyuma walikuwa wameshatu wamechotambua kwa sababu upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwao. Kwa kwa wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari. Kwa katika wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa mbali sana na sisi. Kwa kilichofanyika ni kwamba alichaji. Alipandisha hasira. Akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu. <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember. Uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango. Uf. ya kutisha ile wataalamu wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia ana anakuacha kwa hiyo tulivyo kutumtulia dereva akasema tulie 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 sasa kuna mwenzangu sele <laughs> yeye alikuwa ana, anarekebisha dish by the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la farao saba anarekebisha dish kuja kupata signal za internet akashuka tarati akaingia ndani ya gari kwa ni ni kitu ambacho siwezi siwezi kusahau katika hizi kazi zetu. Japo kuna vingine vingi vipo lakini hiki cho cha faru kikilini kilinitisha sana. Ghafla kuna faru wengine kama tatu kwa wametokea msituni. Wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatic ali tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kuni. Ah uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi. Na pia ameshawahi kuishi Kreta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru. Anaona lakini ana uono hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali. Lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao kwa kwa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka lakini hawa wanyuma walikuwa wameshatu wamechotambua kwa sababu upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwao kwa kwa wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari kwa katika wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa mbali sana na sisi kwa kilichofanyika ni kwamba alichaji alipandisha hasira akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango Uf. ya kutisha ile wataalamu wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia ana anakuacha kwa hiyo tulivyo kutumtulia dereva akasema tulie 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 sasa kuna mwenzangu sele <laughs> yeye alikuwa ana, anarekebisha dish by the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la farao saba anarekebisha dish kuja kupata signal za internet akashuka tarati akaingia ndani ya gari kwa ni ni kitu ambacho siwezi siwezi kusahau katika hizi kazi zetu. Japo kuna vingine vingi vipo lakini hiki cho cha faru kikilini kilinitisha sana. Ghafla kuna faru wengine kama tatu kwa wametokea msituni. Wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatic ali tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kuni. Ah uh, uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi. Na pia ameshawahi kuishi Kreta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru. Anaona lakini ana uono hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali. 
lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao kwa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka lakini hawa wanyuma walikuwa wamesha tu wamechotambua kwa sababu upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwao kwa kwa wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari kwa katika wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa mbali sana na sisi kuchofanyika ni kwamba alichaji alipandisha hasira akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango <laughs> ya kutisha ile. Wataalamu wa wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha, kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia ana anakuacha. Kwa hiyo tulivyokuwa tumetulia, dereva akasema tulie, tulie, tulie. Sasa kuna mwenzangu Sele, <laughs> yeye alikuwa ana, anarekebisha dish. By the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la wafalu saba anarekebisha dish kuja kupata signal za internet. Akashuka tarati. Akaingia ndani ya gari. Kwa ni ni kitu ambacho siwezi siwezi kusahau katika hizi kazi zetu. Japo kuna vingine vingi vipo lakini hiki cho cha faru kikilini kilinitisha sana. Ghafla kuna faru wengine kama tatu kwa wametokea msituni. Wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba hivi kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatic ile tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kuni. Ah, uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi. Na pia ameshawahi kuishi kuleta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru. Anaona lakini anaona hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali. Lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao kwa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka lakini hawa wanyuma walikuwa wamesha tu wamechotambua kwa sababu upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwao kwa kwa wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari kwa katika wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto alikuwa mbali sana na sisi kuchofanyika ni kwamba alichaji alipandisha hasira akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango ya kutisha ile. Wataalamu wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha, kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia ana anakuacha. Kwa hiyo tulivyokuwa tumetulia, dereva akasema tulie, tulie, tulie. Sasa kuna mwenzangu Sele, <laughs> yeye alikuwa ana, anarekebisha dish. By the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la wafalu saba anarekebisha dish kuja kupata signal za internet. Akashuka tarati. Akaingia ndani ya gari. Kwa ni ni kitu ambacho siwezi siwezi kusahau katika hizi kazi zetu. Japo kuna vingine vingi vipo lakini hiki cho cha faru kikilini kilinitisha sana. Ghafla kuna faru wengine kama tatu kwa wametokea msituni. Wanakuja nyuma yetu lakini mbele yetu kulikuwa na kundi la faru kama saba hivi kwa jumla kwa kuna faru kumi kwa automatic ile tukajikuta tumezunguka na wale faru kuni. Ah, uzuri ni kwamba dereva tulie naye ni, ni, ni askari pia kama sisi. Na pia ameshawahi kuishi kuleta na ameshakuwa na mafunzo tayari ya jinsi ya kukabiliana na wanyama kama faru. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza kabisa ni kwamba alizima gari faru. Anaona lakini anaona hafifu kwa hiyo hawezi kuona mbali. Lakini anasikia sana kwa tuko tume uzuri wakati tunaingia tuko wale wale saba ambao walikuwa mbele yetu tuko tumeshawakata upepo maana yake upepo ulikuwa unatoka kwao kuja kwetu na sio kwetu kwenda kwao kwa kwa ngumu wale saba kututambua kwa haraka lakini hawa wanyuma walikuwa wamesha tu 
umechitambua kwa sababu pepo kulikuwa natoka kwetu kwenda kwenda kwa 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 wamesimama na sisi tumesimama pale na tumezima gari kwa katika ile saba ambayo ilikuwa mbele kuna mmoja alikuwa na mtoto kwa mbali sana na sisi kwa kilichofanyika ni kwamba alichaji alipandisha hasira akiwa na mtoto wake alikuja akafunga brake kabisa hapa karibu na karibu na mlango wangu <laughs> niko niko hapo nimekamata kamera remember uh, nilikuwa na shoot lakini niko nilishiwa nguvu kwa sababu alikuja akafunga kabisa brake kwenye mlango <laughs> ya kutia ile wataalamu wanaita mock charge kwamba anatisha kikimbia ndo anakudhuru lakini ukitulia ana anakuacha kwa hiyo tulivyokuwa tumtulia dereva akasema tulie 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 sasa kuna mwenzangu sele <laughs> Yeye yeah, alikuwa anarekebisha ana dish. By the time tumefika tumetulia tumeona ile kundi la Farusaba anarekebisha dish. 